Hi friends, welcome back to our channel. So long back, uh, we have stopped doing the videos. So due to this lockdown, uh, I came to my hometown and uh, I'm not able to make the videos. So just a small video I just want to share with you. So regarding this uh, C programming, it's a small concept that is type def keyword. So we have seen uh, several keywords that are available in C language. So in that uh, keywords, uh, this this is a, uh, one of the important thing, the type def and small uh, working. So that is, so this type def keyword, so completely in a lower case, so type def. So this keyword is used to create an alias name for the data types, alias name for data types. So we, we have seen the data types like integer, float, character, double, right? So uh, structures, unions and all these things. So we have also seen the rule that uh, we have to declare a variable before going to be used in the program, right? So for giving an alternate name for those uh, data types, we can use this type def. So for example, if you want to declare a variable using integer data type, so int a comma b comma c so we'll declare in this way so we'll use this int keyword so if you use this type def see type def int integer so if you use this line this implies wherever we are using this int we can replace this keyword by using this alias name so in later we can declare the variables by using integer a comma b comma c right so for giving an alternate name for the data types we'll use this type def keyword type def keyword right so we can also use this type def for the structures unions and all the data types right so we'll see the practical session by executing a small program by giving an alternate name for the data types like uh, integer, float, character, as well as the structures, right? So we'll move on to the system. Hi friends. So now we'll see the practical implementation of uh, type def keyword in C language. <clears throat> as I said that uh, this type def keyword is used to uh, give an alternate name for the data types right so we'll see that how we can implement this one first we'll include the header files yes. then uh, we can write the main function now so we will declare uh, three variables so normally if we want to declare any integer variable we'll use the keyword int some a float float some b char some c right so here we are giving an alternate name for these data types so after the after the after this uh, type diff use keyword so we can uh, create an alias name for the data types see for example i will use this type def keyword type def int space i will give it as an integer right Similarly, type def float and I will give as a fractional fraction. Okay, same similarly, type def character as character. Right, see here also I am giving so here I am using this type def keyword so that the int is it will be having this int will be having an alias name as integer similarly float will be having an alias name as a fraction similarly care data type will be having the alias name of character so here we can declare the variable using integer because here now the data type is integer so we, are, we have defined the int as an integer so int a 
c is equal to 10 similarly fraction to declare the float variables b is equal to some 3.14 right oh, sorry similarly character for character data types right c is equal to sorry c is equal to quotations a clear screen for uh, clearing all the previous results then we can print all these things see percentage n or uh, some a is equal to percentage d is a format specifier so a similarly printf slash n b is equal to percentage f b similarly we will print the third character slash n c is equal to percentage c c right now we will execute this one so errors are zero so see what we have done is we are using this type definition the type def keyword to create an alias name the alternate name for the data type so here we are giving integer as an alternate name for int so whenever we are going to use this int data type we can directly use this integer uh, uh, alias name okay see so we'll run this so we'll get the results so for the result alt f5 see a is equal to 10 b is equal to 3.14 c is equal to a here we have not initialized them okay we are not initialized them using the primitive data types like int float character but here we are using the alias names so we are giving an alias name for integer and then we are giving and similarly we can also create an alias name for structures by using this type def see type def struct um, student and write down here int r number okay float percentage here we can give an uh, structure variable st right here we can uh, use this st as a structure variable so here see in the absence of this type def in the absence of this type def st is a structure variable right st is a structure variable inside the main function by using this uh, student the name structure structure name student we can cre create a more than one variable so here i am using this type def before the st struct student so this will be the alias name for the structure st will be the alias name for the structure so here we can initialize st dot r number is equal to some 123 similarly st dot percentage is equal to some 89 right so we can print the same here so we know that the structure variable can be sorry sorry so i have to create one structure variable st s1 right st s1 so here s1 dot percentage now we can print the same here also printf slash n r number is equal to percentage d comma s1 dot r number so all the structure the members of a structure must be accessed using the structure variable here s1 is a structure variable and st is a alias name okay don't get confused st is a alias name because we are using type def at the beginning of struct percentage f s1 dot percentage right oh, we'll compare it and we'll run it so you can get the result by using alt f9 so a is equal to 10 b is equal to 3.14 c is equal to a r number is equal to 123 and percentage is equal to 89 right so here once again, I'm saying type def is giving an alias name for the data types. So here for int, we are giving integer for float. We are getting fraction for care. We are getting a character and here for type def, we can also create an alias name for the structure. So with the, with the absence of this type def, st will be the variable of a student.
but here we are using the type def so st will be the alias name for the student so inside the main function we can create a more number of structure variables by using the alias name st instead of using the student right so hope you understood this one it's a very simple concept type def type def is a keyword which is used to give an alias name for the data type right so hope you understood this one so let us stop here so if you are having any doubts regarding this uh, type def so feel free to post your doubts in the comment section so that definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts and if you really understood my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so thanks for watching thank you very much